gonna start by putting half the tortilla shell down. Then we're gonna put another one on top, fill in all the spaces. Start layering this cheese. So we got some Swiss cheese, some American cheese. We make a nice little checker pattern. Very, very satisfying. Very pleasing to the eye. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw this cooked um, 80-20 beef down. I'm gonna evenly spread this out. You can use your hand, because it's a little bit easier. Hit it, hit it with that kosher salt. Don't ground black pepper. And chili powder, I know it's, now we're gonna come in with some pickles. Some, some people don't like pickles on their burgers, but I do, but we got these flat pickles, which are real nice for sandwiches. I'm pretty sure a burger's a sandwich, or is it a burger? I don't know. I think it's a burger. What, it's a hot dog? Is a hot dog a sandwich? No, it's a hot dog. Yeah, but it's on a bun, right? But it's a, but sandwiches are on bread. Well, a bun is made out of bread, unless it's on a person. Hit it with some more of this cheese. Again, we're gonna, we're gonna go American, Swiss, Swiss. You don't have to use Swiss cheese or American cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want, but this is just kind of what I prefer on my burgers. Put another layer of tortillas on there. So we got there like this. And these are cut in half, obviously, so they go nicely on the pan. And then we got this one that's gonna go right here, but we're actually gonna kind of do that thing you can do with like a box. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So we kind of lock it in. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some of this melted butter. So just kind of pour it on like this. I love butter. Yeah, butter is really good. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a must. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of evenly paint it on like here. This is a this is a, a necessary step for what we're about to do. I think it's optional, but that's up to you. But I, this next thing I do is gonna be the next step is optional, or the butter is optional. The butter is not optional. The what I'm about to do right now is optional. Gotcha. So I'm gonna hit it with some everything bagel seasoning. Not that side. <laughs> That would be bad. Um, you don't have to do this, but trust me, it's gonna level this level this dish up like you have no idea. Level it up, level it up. You can just put whatever on, you can put a salt on here if you want, or just, you know, poppy seed bun or whatever, but I like to hit it with that everything, everything bagel seasoning. Now we're gonna go with another piece of parchment paper, put it on top like this, and then we're gonna throw another baking sheet on top of that to weigh it down. And it's gonna go in the oven, again, at 440 degrees for 15 minutes. So I take this off, set it aside. Moment of truth. No way. It actually worked. Did you doubt yourself? Sometimes. Whoa. It's crispy. Yeah, it is. Now we go ahead and cut it into squares. You know, the wife had a good idea. She would use a pizza cutter. And she always does. So we're gonna go ahead and hold this with the, the glove. Put it out with the spatula, put it on your plate. There it is, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Looks amazing. What burger is not good without ketchup? I mean, you have to put ketchup on a burger, right? You don't have to, but I prefer it. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit it with some of that ketchup. This is hefty, man. Go ahead and give this a shot. Here we go, bon appetito. God, this is amazing. You can, this this will feed probably three or four people, probably seven. You can put whatever you want in the burger too. You don't have to put pickles, you can put jalapenos, you can put onions, you can put tomatoes. It just depends on what you like, so 